In this video, we will be going over protein. We will be covering why we need protein, the best sources of protein, how much we should consume, risk factors in consuming too much protein. You probably already know that protein is a very important for our bodies, but did you know that next to water, protein is the most abundant substance in our body? And yes, protein is extremely important for us to consume on a daily basis. Proteins are the building blocks for repairing muscle, skin, blood cells, and even bones. Proteins are also key components of antibodies that help protect us from disease, and hormones that regulate several bodily functions, and enzymes that control chemical activities throughout the body. Protein can be found in meat, fish, poultry, eggs, nuts, and seeds, and tofu. When you eat a protein such as an egg, your body breaks down the protein during digestion into amino acids. These are the building blocks that the body uses for its growth and repair. There are 20 different types of amino acids which make up the different proteins. They vary in size and shape and are used for different functions in the body. There are nine essential amino acids. The word essential means that we must get these amino acids from eating other protein. There are also 11 non-essential amino acids. Don't let the word non-essential fool you. Our body needs these, but non-essential means that our bodies can produce these on their own and it is not necessary to consume these in our diet. Our bodies need both essential and non-essential amino acids to perform correctly. Foods that have all nine essential amino acids in the approximate amounts that our bodies need are called complete proteins. Foods that are considered to be complete proteins include meat, fish, poultry, eggs, milk, cheese, quinoa, and tofu. Typically proteins from plant sources are considered incomplete proteins in that they do not contain all the essential amino acids. Foods that are incomplete proteins are nuts, grains, and legumes. It is possible to make a complete protein by combining two of these foods together, as long as they, in combination, make up the nine essential proteins. For example, you could combine rice and beans together. Singly, they are both incomplete proteins, but together they make up a complete protein. These are called complementary proteins which means two or more incomplete proteins that when combined together make up a complete protein. It is not necessary to eat complementary proteins at every meal. Just make sure that you eat a variety of proteins throughout the day. Your body will take what it needs from each protein. The key would be to eat variety. Now let's talk about how much protein you need in your diet. It is estimated at 10 to 15% of your total caloric intake or 0.36 per pound of weight. An example of this is if a person was 150 pounds, you would take 0.36 and multiply it by 150. This would give you the amount of protein in grams you should consume per day. Endurance and strength athletes can have up to 0.5 to 0.8 grams per pound. You need to consume protein on a daily basis. Your body will either use what you eat and if it doesn't need it at the time it will either use it as energy or store it as fat. Keep in mind that your body is only capable of using approximately 20 grams of protein at a time. So you are better off eating smaller quantities throughout the day. A three ounce serving of chicken contains approximately 20 grams of protein. And to give you a better idea, three ounces of meat is approximately the size of your computer mouse. Likewise, if you have one cup of legumes, you will consume approximately 15 to 20 grams of protein. And a cup of milk has eight to 12 grams of protein. 
Many students believe that by eating more protein, they will build more muscle since protein is needed to build muscle. But consider this, to build one pound of muscle in one week, which is fairly hard to do, you would only need an extra 14 grams of protein. Matter of fact, if you consume too much protein, it can have some serious consequences, such as dehydration, heart disease, hypertension, kidney problems, fatigue, and osteoporosis. So it is best to eat the right amount of protein for your body weight and activity level, and also consume a variety of different types of protein throughout the day. I hope you found this to be interesting and wish you a very and healthy life.